everything inside me. At its core, consciousness is the awareness of being aware. Which is extraordinarily relevant to today's conversation about the internet censorship being openly carried out by big tech and big government. You see, when looking at this from the microcosmic level, that is, exploring of the vastness of the inner worlds, increasing consciousness, is about digging deep with open eyes, to uncover the forces, drivers, baggage, patterns, and programming, that influences oneself. It's about untangling all of this in order to evolve into one's highest potential. Extrapolating this to the macrocosmic, the adage is above, so below, as within, so without, is key. When looking at the outer world with the aim of expanding our consciousness of it, we must also dig deep with open eyes. We must sideline the fear inherent in this sort of exploration, and allow many friendly and unfriendly truths to sink into one's awareness of the world around us. In order to make the best choices for ourselves, this view must be as broad and as complete as possible. In 2013, author and researcher, Graham Hancock, introduced into the current zeitgeist the notion of a war on consciousness. His perspective was centered around the war on drugs and the development of an international police state. In order to achieve this level of totalitarian control, our perspective must be restricted. And our perception of human potential, must not be allowed to move beyond the current socio-economic and political realities. Hancock suggests that in order to continue to evolve, people must be allowed to follow their innate human drive to seek altered states of consciousness, where guidance and inspiration can be found in abundance. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Graham Hancock said. But there are many other states of consciousness that the amazing and mysterious human brain is capable of embracing, and it appears to be a natural human urge, as deep-rooted as our urges for food, sex, and nurturing relationships, to seek out and explore such altered states of consciousness. A surprisingly wide range of methods and techniques, from breathing exercises, to meditation, to fasting, to hypnosis, to rhythmic music, to extended periods of vigorous dancing, etc., is available to help us to achieve this goal, but there is no doubt that the consumption of those plants and substances called drugs in our societies, is amongst the most effective and efficient means available to mankind to explore these profoundly altered states of consciousness. Hancock was primarily focused on the use of psychedelics and shamanic plant medicines, which are renowned for their ability to smash the illusions on which contemporary capitalist culture is based, and he understood the very practical ways in which this can be controlled. It's as simple as locking people up into physical cages and terrorizing the rest of the population. Fast forward seven years, and the West is witnessing a remarkable new offensive in the war on consciousness, this time in the arena of information awareness. When a group of people gets together and conspires to deliberately restrict access to points of view, opinions, ideas, personalities and information, then those people are engaged in a struggle to control others' perception of the world. Their aim is to control awareness of the diversity of possibilities in how the world is perceived to shut down imagination, to control your consciousness of the world we all share. Doing so allows them to herd everyone else onto the same playing field with the same rules. This struggle is representative of the archonic forces at play in our world, meaning that at its root, the struggle is a spiritual one. It revolves entirely your individual courage to think beyond the corral, to transcend the thought dicted, and to fearlessly continue to explore ideas and truths which resonate with you, and help you to make sense of the world. This is about the struggle to maintain personal sovereignty of mind and spirit, because it is precisely this inner freedom and fearlessness that makes one impossible to control. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. 
apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video.